Before releasing him on bond, the judge ordered him not to leave the country. Saul Holliff, care of Hawaiian Hotel, Hollywood. Stop. Due to unfavorable publicity originating from El Paso, we wish to cancel the Johnny Cash performance scheduled for Texas A&M University. Stop. This is our official notice of cancellation. Stop. J. Wayne Stark, advisor, town hall committee. Suddenly, I found myself in this chaotic, unpredictable, terrible atmosphere. Nothing could be finalized. Nothing could be definite. The cancellations were awful, and I had to make good on them. Johnny pleaded guilty. This photograph of Johnny and his wife, Vivian, ran in every major newspaper in America, including this subversive one. Arrest exposes Johnny Cash's Negro wife. Money from the sale of Cash's records goes to scum like Johnny Cash to keep them supplied with dope and Negro women. Published by a racist organization in Birmingham, Alabama, the Thunderbolt had a big readership too in the Ku Klux Klan. The story was wrong. Vivian was Italian American. Johnny threatened to sue, but the Klan was a nebulous target. And Saul? He was dealing with another problem, how to get Johnny out of the country. Johnny Cash has a negress for a wife and four mongrelized children. The race mixers in the record industry continue to sell his records to your teenage children. Now, just as Johnny was set to tour the South, these bigots were calling for a boycott. 5,000 leaflets were handed out at the show in Knoxville, and the Klan threatened to kill Johnny if he showed up in Greenville. Nobody took a shot at him. But Cash biographer Christopher Wren noted, a few fans suckered in, walked up, and tried to spit in his face. Hate groups gun for Johnny Cash in racial error. Johnny Cash, one of the top singers in the country and western field. Casting Johnny as the hero, Saul attacked the KKK. We'll repossess every asset they have so that lies like this will not be built up to such monstrous proportions in the future. Later, Johnny would write, the Klan is despicable, filthy, dirty, and unkind. It's a shame sometimes that we have all these freedoms, because freedom allows them to exist. I'd love to see them all thrown in prison. <laughs> 